What's going on? It's your boy, yes, B. All right, I hit the limit. I pushed it to the max. Your boy got burnt out. So I had to take a few days off. That's why I haven't posted for like the last, what, three days or something like that. I was literally going dropping almost every day, but I definitely hit that wall and hit that burnout level. So this wasn't even supposed to be the next vlog, but it kind of just hit me out of nowhere. It literally got to the point to where I was working on a vlog right after an overtime shift. And I said, you know what? I just couldn't like I, I could have forced it but I just felt it. This ain't the first time that I burned out before. The last time was during peak season when I, when I was working corporate and the delivery side. And I really tried my best to avoid it because going into this little season of overtime, I had so much stuff locked in place. Fitness, the music, the vlogs, everything was going at a consistent pace. So I was purposely trying not to hit that wall of being burned out but I hit that wall. But I think I found out the root. You would think I know what causes burnout. I usually think it's just from just doing so much, but it's not really that, at least not for me. I guess you can get a mental burnout. But for me, the last few times I've had burnouts and I've noticed that today because I finally got fully rested and it was only like taking one day off and I feel great again. I just got one night of some good, decent sleep, boom, and that did it. So I noticed with me when it's just productivity like crazy and I start to lose sleep, that's when I'll hit that burnout. And that's what happened. I was still keeping my same productivity, but it was using up more time due to the overtime on my off days. So that caused me to lose a little bit of sleep and then which burned me out. And I think that's the worst burnout because this time, I was just over it. Last time I had to burn out, it was more so mentally because I had no choice but to sleep. My body was so tired from working two jobs, two Amazon jobs and delivery. So by the time I would come home, my body was just <laughs> bedtime, young man. Like I just wake up like, oh, snap, I was, I was asleep. So I was kind of keeping up on my sleep. I was trying to. So that burnout, even though it was a, a mixture of both, it was mostly mentally. And I noticed I was more frustrated in that time, but I was still able to produce. I was still able to go. I was still able to work. This time around, <laughs> I literally just stopped everything. So yeah, you know what? I'm done. Ain't been to the gym in like a week and a half. <laughs> Is it a week and a half yet? May Almost a week and a half. I haven't wrote a lyric for like a month. And the last thing I was holding on to was them vlogs. You feel me? I had it set in my mind. I was not finna break my consistency and I end up breaking it. But the good news is I feel great. And usually burnouts, when you burn out like that, it usually for me takes me like a week. You feel me? Two, probably like a cool week and a half for me to kind of jump back on it. But I'm literally surprised this time around, even with me still working overtime, I literally feel great off of one day of some good rest. Crazy how much your sleep impacts you. So yes, I'm back on it. I'm hitting the gym tonight. I actually worked overtime. This is actually one of my overtime days. That's how you know I feel great. It's an overtime day, clocked out, clocked on YouTube and feeling great. So after this, once this vlog is over, I'm hitting the gym as well. I'm at the end of my overtime. I had today and then this next overtime day is my last one so i'm able to get back on my fitness <laughs> starting today vlogs everything else jumping right back into it i'm not sure if i mentioned it in my last video because i don't know what i'll be saying in these video i'll be recording so many videos i forgot what i said if i said it here if i said it there if it was a live last vlog i don't know but this topic of burning out this is something that hit my building not my whole building but my department hard it's crazy i've never seen this many people or heard this many people both seen and heard people talk about being burned out at work and it sucks because we're on the corporate side like i'm gonna do a whole nother vlog on it i think i've touched on it before but on the corporate side is different you can't just work all day and that's it and sleep <laughs> i mean you can but there has to be i have to look it up there has to be some type of studies done probably not if it is they ain't told nobody <laughs> but the causes that does to your body of sitting down all day and then this is amazon so they finna serve you a fresh plate of stress a fresh you feel me a fresh plate of anxiety i ain't i don't receive none of that you feel me they try to feed that to me every day i don't always i don't ever eat that sometimes i eat the stress a little bit i don't mean to but it happens so you take all that stuff in and you just sit down all day i kid you not i'm gonna go more into it i don't want to go too much into it here because i want to do another vlog on it people look sad you feel me? I've seen people just, you see, I'm going to get onto it. I'm going to talk about that on that vlog. So be sure to, if you haven't liked, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe, um, like the page. I'm going to start posting daily again, and that's going to be one of the upcoming vlogs. 
So be sure to stay tuned for that. And back to the dealing with stress thing. When you're dealing with stress, that's a great way to deal with it. Hitting that gym, whether you running at the gym, whether you lifting weights, all of that stuff. When you just hit the gym, that is a great stress reliever, especially when you run. And I don't run the whole time at the gym. I'll do like a power walk, you feel me? Hit a little jog. Then I'll go do a full body, then go back to it at the end as well. Um, but it's a real chemical that gets released when you're running. Forgot what it's called. You feel me? I ain't even trying to think about it right now. I've been thinking about Amazon <laughs> call outs all day. <laughs> so I got to be careful on my mind usage since Jeff Bezos has been using it all day. But if you look it up, it's a real chemical that gets released. And it's like an antidepressant type thing. Super dope. So that's a dope reason to be in the gym, especially if you're in a stress environment. Listen, Earth is is already stressed right now. We, it, it sucks that we have to be in workplaces that are stressful as well. Sometimes the main source of stress, but it is what it is. Um, I just encourage everybody, use your outlets. You feel me? This is one thing that I have to try to be best at when that stress and hitting those burnouts, when that happens, not to let go of them stress relievers, even though it's hard not to. And I'm going to lie, when it came to me just hitting that little wall, I didn't even want to do it. I wanted to just push through it because we got to a point on the channel where low-key was kind of getting in the algorithm where everything was starting to move a little bit more. I see behind the scene on YouTube when it comes to the analytics, the reach, the impressions, all that stuff. And all that stuff was growing. It was just like, all right, cool. You feel me? This is what you want to see. It's traction. And it's just like, as soon as we hit that traction mark, because for a minute, they will keep you out of that traction area. And it's low key. Like you have to build up into it. It's weird. I would have to make a different video if anybody even wanted to know about that. But we started really catching that traction. <laughs> and then right then, get burned out. So I'm not going to lie. I wanted to push through it. But if you look back a few videos, <laughs> um, which video was it? It was the vlog. Oh, where I said, don't look back. I'm telling y'all, look back. The vlog was called don't look back. <laughs> I'm in that video. I mean, I read, I recorded that video like at what? 12 o'clock, 12 30, something like that. No sleep. I wasn't even going to post it. But when I edited, I was like, all right, it don't look it don't look that bad. It took me so long to do that video. That's one of the most difficult videos I've done. And you will never notice because the next day I didn't even post it. I said, you know, I'm not posting this video. <laughs> I ended up posting something else and I was going to delete that video. But as I was editing it, I was like, man, it's don't even you know, once it's edited, this looks great. You know what I mean? But it took me about an hour to shoot that vlog. And no vlog ever takes an hour. But that's how burned out I was. And if you look in that video, this is what I was going to say. <laughs> on some of the shots, you can see my eyes bloodshot. You feel me? I'm still over there. You feel me? Trying my best. I was super tired. But anyways, I'm trying to keep this momentum going. So I got some more videos coming, dropping tomorrow, going forth. Any vlogs you want to see, drop it in my comment section. Because I still have a whole list that I haven't touched on. A few things that I've been trying to touch on. I know people ask about the home process my process to being a homeowner. I can't really see, got the light shining on me. So that one's coming soon. Also, I have a vlog called My Biggest Failure at Amazon. That was gonna be pretty dope, y'all gonna see, because I usually touch on all the positives and all the milestones, but not really the failures. I mean, I can't really think of too many, but there's one that was big and it had to do with the stuff I was talking about in that vlog, um, how Amazon broke my heart. It's basically like the part two of that. So that's going to come this week too. So if you have anything you want me to do a vlog on, drop it in the comment section and I might be able to do that as well. Anyways, man, I hope you guys been enjoying y'all week. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can be notified as I continue to drop these videos. Yes, I'm also an artist. I go by the name of SB, do motivation, inspiration type music. Links will be in the description if you want to check it out it's on itunes spotify go stream it show your boys some support other than that i'm gonna catch you on the next video which is tomorrow oh no snaps we got the live tomorrow huh well be sure to tune in for that and we got vlogs coming for the rest of the week anyways i'm gonna catch you on the next video it's your boy yes bait let's go i'm on my grind i'm on my grind i'm on my grind i'm on my grind I'm on my grind. I'm on my grind. I get up, I get out and get to it. I'm on my grind.